Hello, please excuse the untidiness of my house. If I had to tidy my house every time I made a video, I'd never make one. Okay, so anyway, but today I wanted to share with you guys some tricks, a trick I use to um, do my stretches for two minutes at a time. Okay, I generally do stre hold stretches for between one and two minutes. I have fibromyalgia and I've had it for six years and I struggle with flexibility and I struggle with pain in my body. So I found that a way I improve is by holding stretches for longer than say 30 seconds okay but in order to do that because I am in a lot of pain with a fibromyalgia and I'm actually not that flexible I have to figure out ways to make it really comfortable for me to hold the stretches for a long time okay so I'm gonna share with you today just a few show you a few stretches and how I make them comfortable and really effective and essentially I try to not hold myself up you know a lot of stretches are really uncomfortable and it's hard to just hold your body up for that long so I try to support my body as much as I can and then I'm able to just focus on the muscles that I want to stretch the tissue that I want to stretch more okay without having to concentrate also on holding myself up all the time okay or the discomfort of holding myself up all the time okay so I'm just going to show you a few stretches today and I, like I said I can go in it into each one in more detail in future videos but okay so the first one I want to show you is this setup here and I use this setup for a split stretch okay and I cannot do the splits but um so I have um, two mats and then I have these two cushions for my knee because at the moment I've taped my knee because I've got this knee injury that I'm trying to deal with and uh, so I have extra cushioning for the knees and then uh, first of all I'll start out maybe with this height and after a few stretches I'll then take this half foam roller which I've sliced off the bottom of it to make it stable and then I go down lower okay and then I have these chairs here to hold myself up and I have these yoga blocks because they kind of stick to the chair and just make it easier to grip my arms okay and then I also have a timer so this clock cost me three dollars and so I just am able to time the amount of time I'm sitting in the stretch for okay so I'm just going to get into this stretch and show you how this works okay so this is how I would get into this split stretch I just put my knee on the cushion and then I Rest my arms on the yoga blocks and I rest my other leg on these yoga blocks on the ground, you see? So like this I can hold this split stretch for a long time, for two minutes or I might start out at what, what, for maybe 30 seconds and then go to one minute and then two minutes, okay? And I do the other side, okay? Now I'll show you in the next one. Okay, another stretch that I do is this one, and this is like a quad stretch setup. Okay, so here I have some crates that go to this wall, and then I have a box here, and I have my mat up against that, and on this end I have two yoga blocks taped together. Okay, and then this is for me to rest my arms on, and again, there's my timer. So, like I said, this is the most effective quad stretch I've figured out, and I'll just show you how I do it. Okay, so the way I do this one, so I want to stretch my right quad muscle, is I get my foot up here against the box and then I use my arms to lift myself and I put my other foot against the yoga blocks that I've taped together which are leaning up against the wall, okay? And then I push back like this and as you can see, I am really comfortable here to have a really effective quad stretch that I can easily, easily sit in for two minutes. And often with the quad stretches, which I'm not doing at the moment because of my knee, but um, I would sit in these for at least two minutes on either side and three sets of these, okay? And the other thing you could do, you could also, instead of leaning up against a box, you could lean up against a wall on the other end, okay? So, and that can also give you a stretch into the sh shins as well, okay, if you're leaning your foot up straight up against a wall, okay. okay. 
Another split stretch that I do, which I'm also not doing at the moment because my knee is where, oops, where I put um, the yoga mat up against, so it's leaning up against two, well, walls, but see on this side I have some chopping boards and I use those chopping boards to make the split stretch, make my splits wider and wider as I the longer I stretch for, okay, because as I stretch for longer my muscles and ligaments release and I can hold and I can get further down in the stretch. Okay, so I just I show you. So I just sit here for a little while in this stretch and then if I feel my legs can split wider, I take a chopping board out. Sorry about that. And I hold the stretch for longer and then when I'm comfortable at that distance and I split further and so forth and, you know and I just keep splitting down further and further the, the longer I'm in the stretch for okay so that's how I do that and make it really comfortable and this is really comfortable you see I can go down I can lean back and I can really get into these upper back hamstrings and I'm also working on the adductor muscles or the inner thigh muscles like this see like that and that's super comfortable and sometimes like I can get a box just using the chop and I might sit up like this in the stretch for a little while as well okay and that's super comfortable to do and I can do it for a long time like this you see because these walls support my feet and make it really easy for me to hold this split stretch for a long time instead of trying to just hold the stretch without having the walls on either side you see or something's holding your feet on either side okay you'll have to excuse out here my dogs lay on on this towel as well so it's a bit dirty but anyway um so this is another stretch i like to do for my uh, lumbar spine and abdominal area and rib cage and so what I do is I got this box on the left hand side I just bought from a yard sale for five bucks and then on this side I have these towels to cushion my arm and I have these seat belts with a little I tie a knot like with a little hole here at this end and I hang the other end up here on the um, railing thing and and then I also have like this half dome um, spiky dome and that holds my bum and I'll just show you how using this setup I can hold this really excellent stretch for two, for two minutes okay I'll just set it up so what I do is I um, put my hand through the hole and I use the towel inside the hole to make it more cushioned for my hand to sit in there for longer and then I grab the strap with my hand and then I fall down like this and I use this under my bum to make it much more comfortable so I'm not putting too much strain on my arm and I put this under my bum like this and I use the box here to push here and I can easily because of I'm sitting on this half spiky dome it's so easy and I've got a clock there and I can time myself for two minutes, easy peasy Japanese. And then I, I, I do the other side, like that. And that does all up here. That's really good. The last one I want to show you guys is where I use again two seat belts and um, some washes, face washes stuck into the holes that I've made. And um, this is a really good stretch for the upper rib cage and upper verte uh, thoracic vertebrae. So I just put my hands in here like this and then I climb up the railing like this and I pull back like this, okay? And normally I have a clock sitting beside me on the railing and I can easily sit in this stretch for about a minute this is a bit more uncomfortable to sit in maybe a minute 15 like this and I can 
change the orientation of my arms by twisting them a little bit and that affects wearing my vertebrae. I'm stretching like that. Okay, so as you can see, using belts and props, there's lots of other stretches that I do with this idea in mind that I use all sorts of things to help me hold more kind of extreme stretches like that one and more comfortably for longer instead of, like I said, using my body weight to hold me up or using my arms and, you know, making it really uncomfortable for me if I had to do it without all these props. Okay, well I hope this was helpful and see you later.